Welcome to Ponta Delgada Airport, where it's early morning and I'm about to head out for a day of Azorin island hopping, flying on a handful of SATA-8s to Flores, back here, and then to Terceira. From there, I'll catch a flight to New York on the A321LR tomorrow. But first, I wanted to see some of the other islands. I'm here just in time to catch a very interesting arrival, a Euro-Atlantic 777 operating for Azores Airlines inbound from Toronto. Alright, we're past security in Ponta Delgada. Quite a nice little terminal, but very small. And you feel it. There's two coffee shops here, and they both have huge queues at 7.30 in the morning to get a coffee. I would like to, because that hotel coffee was not great. I guess I'll stand in the queue. I have nothing else to do. I don't think they have a lounge. Anyway, I'm in economy. I'm a Dash 8 anyway. But not a bad little terminal. As it turns out, there is a little lounge of sorts, a quiet area upstairs with very few people in it. I guess because most people don't know it's there. So you can chill a bit here and watch Austin Powers on mute. Sure, why not? Originally, I was supposed to catch both the Q400 and some of SATA's classic smaller Dash 8s, but as things turned out, delays and schedule changes meant I ended up flying on three Q400s today. Oh well, it happens. So my first flight is to Flores, about an hour to the west. In fact, it's the furthest west of the Azores, and it's technically located on the North American tectonic plate. So in some sense, I'll be leaving Europe briefly today before coming back for a night. It's tight back here, but survivable. <laughs> This flight takes just a little over an hour and it's mostly Atlantic Ocean below us en route.
I have to say I don't love these Q400s. The older, smaller Dash 8s feel like a classic experience, whereas the Q400 is more modern and maybe somewhat quieter, but also just boring, and still kind of uncomfortable and loud. The longest flight that I'm aware of that SATA does on these Q400s is from Ponta Delgada to Funchal, which takes around two hours. Flying two hours on this thing is something I'd rather avoid. Also, there is zero service on SATA, so there's nothing to distract you if there aren't views out the window. Luckily, one hour is pretty tolerable, and we're soon descending to Flores. This is reminding me so much of the time I flew from Tenerife to El Hierro in the Canaries, also a far western island in the chain, also a right turn to land toward the north on a short runway on the island's east side. Flores was a lot more verdant though, whereas El Hierro is quite rocky and volcanic looking for the most part. I'll stick a link up top to that one so you can watch it if you're interested. I won't focus too much on Flores here, but I will be publishing a video with much more about it on my channel soon, so if you're interested, feel free to go check that out. I'll link it below. All right, we're in Flores now, the westernmost island of the Azores and the westernmost piece of Europe. Pretty nice flight, pretty uneventful, no service. That was surprising actually. Uh, I've got about six or seven hours here and then I gotta come back and take a flight back towards Ponta Delgada. It seems like they've put me onto the flight that goes straight back on the Dash 8 400 instead of the 200 that I was hoping to get via Horta. Anyway, we'll see what happens. <laughs> After that is where my smooth travel day ends. Little did I know some weather was moving in on Sao Miguel and Terceira and it was going to have an effect. And I really needed to get to Terceira tonight. Shame there's no direct flight there today. Well, it is a risk you run when you do a day full of flying around the islands anywhere. That delays can happen and stack up. It seems like it's gonna be okay, but uh, the flight to Punta Delgada is one hour delayed, maybe a little more, but it's gone to Horta and it's still coming back. It just left there. That's 30 minutes away, so probably an hour and a half late in the end. And the only problem with that is that I have to get up to Tercera Island. There's also a delayed one that I could potentially catch, but they said it's fully booked. So now I'm on the latest one of the evening, 9.40 p.m. Have to hope everything goes fine with that one to be able to get to Tercera. Tonight, I was hoping for a nice sunset, almost sunset landing in Tercera. It's not to be today. So, hopefully, we get out of here reasonably soon. They can turn around that plane quickly and uh, see what happens on the flight to 
Ponte Delgada. So after some waiting and more waiting, we finally board the flight back to Ponta Delgada. Pretty takeoff is followed by an uneventful flight back east. start to see the weather build up as we get closer.
senhores passageiros, sejam bem-vindos a São Miguel. Para a vossa segurança, mantenham o cinto apertado até que o avião se mobilize e o sinal seja desligado. De forma a evitar a queda de objetos soltos, recomendamos precaução na abertura dos compartimentos vagais. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to São Miguel Island. For your safety, keep your signal fast with your ground stand still and the sign is turn off. Well, some pretty gnarly conditions coming in, thunderstorms around. I guess that's passing over. I gotta wait an hour and a half for my next flight now. Unless I try to get onto this 830, but then I have to rush and it's not a sure thing, so maybe I just sit around and uh, get something to drink. Beautiful, even when it's stormy out. Seems like I'm the only one transferring here. Well, that was easy enough. No FAF, no boarding pass, no security. Happy with that. So I sit down for a while as the weather gets worse outside and my onward flight to Tercera gets delayed incrementally and repeatedly with no real information given. This is what I really can't stand. They had no revised departure time up until well past the actual departure time of this flight, 9.40 p.m. And then at about 10 p.m. when the plane that is supposed to be coming to operate the flight back from Tercera hadn't even left yet, they updated it to 10.15. As in 15 minutes from that moment, clearly it wasn't gonna happen then. Now it's 10.30, they still haven't changed the departure time from 10.15, it's 15 minutes ago. Nobody has said anything, some people just showed up, I think, to open the gate for the Madeira flight, the Funchal flight. That's rough, they're leaving super late. And these things happen, weather, equipment changes, it's fair enough, I know that's how it goes and running an airline is difficult, but lack of communication and just straight up gaslighting you about departure times is just infuriating. Now for me, I just need to get to Tercera before 3 p.m. tomorrow, which is when I am supposed to depart to JFK, but I'm just super tired. I wish they would just cancel the flight already. Operate it in the morning instead, so I can go sleep. That would be amazing. And it's just a 30 minute flight, less. Then someone yelled at me for talking to my camera. They're really winning me over here today. Anyway, we did finally get to board the plane. A different plane than originally planned, and actually the same plane I came in on from Flores earlier. Departure time, 11.41 p.m. Two hours later than scheduled, with zero communication about that fact until they started boarding. And this flight, which is all of 29 minutes, is completely in darkness, but we skirt the edge of these thunderstorms the whole way. So we get a pretty impressive light show en route.
hassles are not over yet, because it turns out that there are roughly two taxis available to this entire airport, and we landed behind a Plus Ultra A330 from Toronto packed full of people. I ended up having to rely on the kindness of a rental car agent, there were no cars, who gave me a lift to my hotel nearby. What a mess. What do you think? Would you do a similar island hopping day and embrace the adventure, or best avoid it? Next week, I'll be bringing you the A321LR flight to JFK. Will SATA slash Azores Airlines redeem themselves? Stay tuned. For Flight Radar 24 on Tercera Island, I'm Gabriel Lee.